this is Krishan and this video is to understand how to restore a drop table in Oracle. As we all know we have a drop statement in Oracle which would remove both the data and the table structure. Uh, the common statement of drop would be like drop table table name and we have an optional clause of cascade constraint if we want to drop the constraint associated with the table. Now say suppose you have dropped the table and now knowingly or unknowingly you want the table back you have made a mistake and you didn't want to drop that particular table and in that case what to do you know now we have lost the table the sensitive data in it so oracle has given a way through which you can get the drop table back along with its data so what happens is when you drop a table db does not immediately remove the space associated with the table the database would rename the table and store it into recycle bin. As in Windows we have recycle bin. Similarly in Oracle also we have recycle bin. But we have to be sure that the recycle bin parameter is set on on the system or the session level. Now this feature of getting the table back from the recycle bin is known as flashback drop. All you need to do is write flashback table table name to before drop and you have an optional clause to rename the table also. Now what is a recycle bin? Basically recycle bin is a data dictionary. It contains the information about the dropped object. Now each user has its own recycle bin and when a user would query the recycle bin it would see all the objects that are dropped, all the objects related to that particular user. Unless and until the user has assist DBA privileges, he will not be able to see the objects which are dropped by other users. Now as I told, the recycle kit bin can be set either on or off at session or system level. It can be done through the following statement. Alter session or system, set recycle bin on or off. So if you want to use it, it has to be set to off. If you want to see where it is currently set to, you can just write show parameters recycle bin and will show you. I'll just show you that in a minute. But before we go there, I would just like to tell you something about a clause called as purge. Now what is purge? Say suppose you have now decided that you are not going to use a table that you have dropped and which is currently in recycle bin. As I mentioned, Oracle will not release the space that associated with the table if it is in the recycle bin and now if you want the space you know if you are sure that you don't want to use the table again in future and you decide to purge it so when you purge the table from recycle bin oracle would release the space now how to purge is just write purge recycle bin and all the objects in the recycle bin would be purged you will not be able to get any of them back but you will get the free spaces now even you can specify the purge option when you are dropping the table you can just like drop table table name purge and the table will not be stored into recycle bin and the space will be free so it's like doing two step in a single statement otherwise as i told you when you do a drop table table name the table gets dropped but it uh, the uh, uh, space related to table is not freed as the table is renamed and stored into a recycle bin and then, when you, and then you can purge the table from a recycle bin which would free the space. So if you want to do both the steps in a single step you should do drop table table name purge. But once you purge the table you will not be able to get it back through any means. Yeah you can definitely get it back through a recovery option or you you know restoring the database to a previous version but that is not uh, related to this flashback option. So now let me show you how to do that. <coughs> say suppose I have created a table called as country. As you can see the table is created. And now let me insert some records into the table. I in I'll insert six records. I'm inserting records so that when we will drop the table and get it back, we will see that the table comes along with the along with the data. Now I'm dropping the table start from country. When I select try to select from the country table I say that it gets a main error saying table of view does not exist why because I just now dropped it now what I was talking to you about that is recycle bin 
recycle bin it is a synonym to user underscore recycle bin uh, uh, so database dictionary so you can do a select star from recycle bin or select star from user underscore recycle bin is the same um, see as you can see uh, this is the recycle bin and it has some information it will just go through it it has object name object name is a uh, system given name it is bin dollar some uh, hexadecimal uh, name and dollar version this is oracle version uh, something related to that the original name of the table and now what the type is it like it's a table or a index or something like that what operation was done on it it was dropped what is the table space name that is users what was the create time of the table what was the drop time what was the scn system count number at the drop time and other such information and over here we have can undrop that is yes we can do an undrop of this we can get the table back can we purge it yes we can purge it then we will not be able to get it back so let's see now this is what is in recycle bin now as i told you if a user has a ssdba privileges he can see um, uh, the dropped objects of all the users so if I do select star from db underscore recycle bin then I can get the same information along with the owner like who dropped or which who, who owns it this is an HR schema this uh, table was uh, created in HR schema dropped in HR schema so this information is also available and the same other information uh, what was shown in recycle bin are also shown now say suppose I want to get this table back I want to get this table back and what so how to do it what you have to do is you have to write flashback table table name to before drop now, everything here is syntax you know only the table name is uh, the views will give it otherwise flashback table table name to before drop when you do this it says table country succeed now let me just see select stuff on country I have my table back. I just dropped my table and now uh, after executing this flashback query, I have my table back along with all the data. So this is flashback. This is how you can get your table back from recycle bin. So what you are doing is you are taking your table out of the recycle bin and uh, giving it back to the user. So as you can see now there is nothing in recycle bin it has come back it has been flashed back to the user now <clears throat> let me show you one more thing say suppose I create this table uh, the, as I said, the table is already there along with data let me drop it again I have dropped the table so when we see the recycle bin we have the table there now I want to rename this table when I get it back I want to rename it to say country list then the query would be flashback table table name to before drop I rename to country list when I do this and select stuff from country the table does not exist because I have renamed the table to country list so when I do country list I have the table along with all the data so you can not just bring the table back you can also rename the table so this is this is uh, getting the table back flush flushing back tables now there is one more interesting concept over here <clears throat> say suppose I create the table test1 with ID number um, and drop I believe the table is already present yes let it drop it yeah so I create a table with test1 okay and then I drop the table I again create the same table test one but now with a different uh, structure now I have ID number and name before I had only ID number let me create it back let me drop it again I am creating this uh, with a table with the same table name test one again this time with a more different structure this time even I have gender I create the table and I drop the table now when I see the recycle bin I have just done an order by drop type so the la latest one which I have dropped is showing me uh, above I, that I ordered it in decreasing order okay so what I see is here I have test one four times 
because I created, I dropped, I created, I dropped, and one was already present, so, and so I dropped it. So, yeah, I created it three times in this session and dropped it. So now, when I want to get this table back, this rename option is very handy because I can just rename this table to table two. So let me just show it. I do flashback table test one, rename to test two. So when I do a select star from test two, what I get is the recently dropped table. The last one which I dropped it was with this structure ID name and gender. I get it back. I created it three times. I dropped it three times. And now I'm getting the very latest the, which was dropped the last. I'm getting that structure back. Say suppose I want even the other one to come back. You know, the second last with the ID and gen, uh, with ID and name. So when I do this, flashback table test one two before drop, it is succeeded. And when I do a select star from test one, let me just execute it here. I get ID and name. Now say suppose I want the last one to come back, and I will rename it to say just test. So the first one with ID. So I got the one with ID, I got the one with ID and the name and I got the one with ID, name and gender. All three are back but I will just rename them. Because if I don't rename them, it would say the table already exists. If I would have just brought it back again, tried to get it back again at test one, it would have said like the table already exists. So now just let me see what exists in my recycle bin. So there is one table test one which I dropped it very before I started this uh, demo. No sorry during the demo. So I want to pause this. I want to empty my recycle bin. How to do it? Simple. Pause. Recycle bin. This is it. By doing this I will delete all the objects in my recycle bin it will be empty and all this uh, space would be freed and given to the user if you want to delete a particular table space you can just mention it table space or table space whatever xyz or user this something like that i want to just uh, flush out all of my recycle bin so pause recycle bin when i do this that all of the data is purged and i cannot get back what was the remaining over there so this is uh, what I was talking about now as I told you that when you create a table say suppose I created this table with six records in it I've committed it and now as I told now when I drop this table the space is not freed you know when I drop this table it still goes to recycle bin over here and then I need to purge my recycle bin it's a two step process you know first drop this that is step one and then you know step two is um, purge, purge the recycle bin I have to do two steps to get the space back this way now if I want to do it in a single step, say suppose this is my table country with six records in it, I have committed that and I want to do this both the steps, step one that is dropping the table and step two that is freeing the space by purging the recycle bin or, or by purging the object in the recycle bin. All I need to do is drop table country with an option of clause of purge. This will do step one plus two both in one it would be step one two both into a drop table table name watch now if i show you this table is not present in the recycle bin means i cannot get it back but i've got my space freed so that was what i was talking about a two-step process you know first you drop the table but the space is not free the object is renamed and kept into recycle bin then from recycle bin you can you know purge the particular object and get the space street or you use this statement drop table table name purge but be very sure before dropping any tables because you will lose the data and you will lose the structure and if there is anything important in the table you might you know get into trouble so be very sure and confident before purging the tables
and yes as i told you you can know your current recycle bin like whether it is on or off by the show parameters you can do show parameters recycle bin sorry bin. that's it execute it and you will come to know name that is this uh, and uh, is name recycle bin the type its string and its value on and off so I, you can set the session to off like alter session set recycle bin is equal to off you can set it to off you can check it the initialization parameter is now set to off now if you will create the table records commit drop the table check the recycle bin you don't have the data because I just now set the recycle bin to off I have set it in the session you can also set it at the system level I will not do so I'll just make it on again and make this initialization parameter back to on I'll just check whether it is back set to on yes it is yeah so this is was of the the real vision of this uh, video to you know make people understand about how getting the tables dropped back from the recycle bin using the simple query of flashback table table name also there is a very beautiful uh, clause rename too if you have dropped the same table n number of times you can get it back just rename them and the purge option available for drop the purge option available with recycle bin and various objects and the initialization parameter of recycle bin Thank you. This is it from the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you.